Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. In uh, this lecture, I have to speak also about uh, the firewall on the Ubiquiti Edge Router X. So I'm going to speak about the directions which are in and out. So we have already spoken about the local direction. Now we have to speak about in and out. As you can see here, the lab is uh, three points. And uh, before I start doing those points, let's go to the lab scenario to show you what we need to do. Then I will come back to the points and start doing that. So this is my lab scenario. My uh, PC is connected to the Edge router on the interface Ethernet 2, which is part of the uh, interface, which is switch 0. So I have switch 0 on the Edge router. I put inside of it Ethernet 2, 3, and 4. And the Edge router is connected to the ISP router, in this case, which is uh, the Microtech router over here. And uh, so this is the WAN over here, and this is the LAN. All right, so it's connected on Ethernet 1 to the router, which is Microtech router. Now, I need to create filter rules. I want to check first that uh, in case I open from my computer Winbox to the Microtech router. So Winbox is a software that uh, you can use it on the Microtech to be able to configure the router. So that means that the traffic, when it goes from my PC to the Edge router, then the edge router will send it to the Microtech router. Then I can open one box. So my goal is to block this traffic. So I don't want the traffic which is traversing the edge router as one box to be able to go to the Microtech router. So here we can do it on both ways. Whether we do it on the direction in from the LAN. So this is the LAN we set here. And this is the one, correct? So what I can do, I can say that any traffic uh, the way in, that means going this way, which is Winbox, I have to drop it, but also the way out, because it can go to the Microtech router, the traffic, then when it comes back, the Winbox, the way out. So way in and way out, I can block the uh, Winbox uh, traffic. All right, so that's on port, uh, we'll see it in a moment, 8291. But also I can do it from the WAN side, so as well, when the traffic is going from my computer, it goes to the edge router, then the edge router has to send it to the Microtech. So this is when out. All right, I can block it, but also I can do it the, the when in, because this traffic is coming in. That means once it's reached to the Microtech router, the Microtech router send it to the PC, the, the uh, traffic, and then when it comes to the when, the way in, then I can also apply it. So I can understand that you may be finding difficulty what the, is the direction exactly so the best thing to do is think of yourself as an uh, the edge router and open your hand like this so let's say that this hand is for the uh, one and this hand is for the LAN. all right so when we think about the LAN, that means any traffic coming to me that is LAN in any traffic going from my out from my hand that's the LAN out same on this is the one any traffic coming to me that's when in any traffic going from out from me that's when out so this way you can understand it better and uh, then we can configure what we need to do so the main idea now is to uh, drop the winbox traffic and i'm going to show you the direction uh, in and out on the land but also on the, the direction in and out on the WAN. so you can do it on any ways but i highly advise you to make it on the land and not on the one why because when you make it on the LAN and actually LAN in should be, then once you open here, the the traffic is going from the PC. It goes to the router. When you say LAN in, that means it's coming to the router, then the firewall rule will be applied directly and it will block it. While if you say it LAN out means going out from the router, that means it has gone all the way to the Microtech and the Microtech send it back to here and when it reaches to the router then the firewall rule happens so you are wasting your bandwidth because you are sending it and then it comes back when it's back on the router the way out then the firewall rule will be applied and that's something not really good so the better you do it very close to the source so apply your filter rule the way land in so inside to the LAN, and then in this way it's much better because then you don't waste all this traffic because anyway it needs to be blocked so this is what we are going to do in uh, this lab. Let's go back now to the points and start doing that. Point number one, from your PC, make one box to the Microtech router. Is it working? So let me put the picture here and uh, let's try to open one box. So uh, if you are not familiar with the uh, Microtech, that's fine. So now I'm just putting this router because uh, just uh, I want to do the lab, but you can put anything else. All right. Now 
I put this router, the MicroTik router, I will connect to it to Winbox. So this is Winbox. And let's put the password here because this router has a password. So you can see I'm able now to connect to the MicroTik router. All right, so now we need to not allow this to happen. Point number one is done. Point number two, we have to create a filter rule. Now we have to start working on the WAN to block the Winbox to the MicroTik router the way out. So we have to do the way out. Then we have to do it the way in. So if we go to the picture to explain to you what I need now to do. So once the traffic is going from my computer to do Winbox to the MicroTik router, and it reached to the edge router over here. All right. Now, when it is going out from the WAN, from the Ethernet one, so you see it's going out. Remember, you make your hand like this. So it's going out from the WAN. So over here, I have to apply the firewall rule. All right. So that's also good to do it. So you can do it LAN in or you can do it WAN out. That's, that's also still okay. All right, so over here, I have to do it. Now, after we do that, we try. If it works, then uh, it's blocking the uh, wind box. That's fine. Now, after that, I will delete the rule and I will make it the when in. So I will delete this rule completely here and I will make another rule. And this one time is going to be the way when in because it's coming to the one. And also, I will check if it's going to work. But before I do that, let me just show you that uh, on uh, the MicroTik, if we go to IP services, you see that the Winbox, it's using the port A291. So that's the port that we need to block. It works on, uh, on port A291 TCP. So now we have to block it the, the way when out. All right, let's go to the Ubiquiti router. I'll make UBNT, the username and password. That is the default one. I advise you to always change that, but now we're doing a lab, that's fine. Now, what I need to do is to go to the firewall. Firewall policy. We do not have any firewall here. So we create a, a rule set. So let's call it one. And this one has a, a default action to accept everything. And we make the default logging enabled so we can check the statistics later. And then I will make save. So when now we have to do it when out we set. So we make edit rule set and we create the rule. Now add a new rule and let's call it here block winbox. Okay, block winbox. So it's enabled. Action is to drop. The port is TCP. And uh, here we have to make destination because the traffic when it's when out, if we go back here, when out, so that means this PC is saying I want to go to the destination port, which is A291. So this port now is a destination port. All right, so uh, the TCP here, and then we have to go to the destination and we put the port A291 because it's going to that port. And then I would say save. Now we have to do the last thing is to apply this on the interface, which is Ethernet one. That's my one, the way out. All right. So then I make save rule set. Let's open the statistics and let's try now to open the Winbox. So I will disconnect and let's try to open again Winbox connect. And here we go. You see, it's trying to connect, but it's not because the firewall is now blocking it. And you can see already that the packets are increasing and the bytes also because it's dropping all the Winbox uh, tries that, that uh, the uh, PC is trying to do. All right, so this is the way out. You see, it's not possible. So now let's remove those uh, uh, firewall rules that we create. Actually, we do have only one. Let's remove this one because we have to make it now the way in. And uh, the interface, we have to make it now Ethernet 1 the way in. All right. And now that means if we go back to the picture, let me just clear it so we can see a little bit. So now the traffic is going to the edge router. And the edge router, he doesn't have any firewall rule on the LAN in or on the WAN out. So we will send it to the MicroTik router. Now, the MicroTik router has to send the packet back to the computer. It comes here. Now, here, when it is here, this is, we call it WAN in. 
all right so once it is here here i have to apply now the filter rule so in this case i have to say that i want to block the tcp but now the source is a291 a291 why the source is, is not uh, now anymore the destination but the source because the traffic now is coming from the microtech to here and for the edge router the traffic which is coming from the microtech then this microtech now is the source that means we have to put the port on the source and not on the destination anymore all right i will show you that uh, directly now so we say here ethernet one the way in so that's one in and we configure here the rule add a new rule and also we call it drop win box is to drop the tcp but now we have to put the source port a291 a291 and then i will say save now if i go to the statistics and let's try to open our winbox connect it's not working look the package the bytes are increasing because it's not working now if we make the uh, here if we just make uh, the change and uh, instead of putting the port a291 on the source we put it on the destination so let's delete this one here and i put it on the destination you will see that it's gonna work so i make it on the destination and i make here save and we try now look we, it's working why it is working because one the traffic is coming from the microtech router to here it will check okay this traffic uh, is it uh, going to do a win box to this computer because now the destination is 2891 so they believe that that uh, there is someone trying to do a win box to this computer actually it's not doing any win box to this computer because the win box is coming from the source all right so it's a it's answering so there is no uh, computer so this router over here the microtech router is not doing win box to the computer all right it is the fact is that this computer is doing the winbox connectivity to this router so that's why it is possible point number two is done point number three create a filter rule now we, we finished from the when we saw the when out and the way and the when in now we need to do the on the land so we have to also block winbox to the microtech router the way in and the way out that means if we go back to the picture that is now my computer this is the LAN over here all right so anything which is coming the way in to uh, the LAN then I want to block here the uh, win box and after that I have to remove this rule and I make also another rule to see if uh, I make it the way out also that uh, the win box will be blocked so let's do that let's go directly to the uh, UBNT router the edge router I have already removed all the firewall rules here so let's create now a new rule set let's call it LAN and I will accept everything we put here, the default log. And now let's do first the LAN in. So I have to create now a filter rule. And in this rule, I have to say, also we have to say drop winbox and we want to drop winbox TCP. So now let's think the port should be destination or source. So let's go back to the picture. Now we are saying LAN in, that means coming to this interface which is ethernet 2 actually is switch zero all right so we are trying to do winbox so that means the destination port in this case it is 8291 because the traffic is going this way to here so the destination port is 8291 so that means we have to put it as destination all right so let's do that so drop winbox tcp and then we say destination port 8291 and then I will say save and we should not forget that we have to apply this on the interface switch zero because that's my LAN and then the way in and then I will say save rule set excellent so now let's try to open winbox let's disconnect and try now connect and here we go it's not working and if we go to the uh, edge router and we go inside here check the statistics you see that the packets are increasing drop in the box because this firewall rule is not allowing it okay very good so we made it the way land in and that's the best way to do it because it's very close to the source you make their different rule then the traffic is not wasted in your network so that's the best way that i can say to you to do it land in 
All right, now we have to do it in the way LAN out. So what we need now to do, I will, uh, let's uh, here change uh, this uh, rule set. So I'll make here edit uh, rule set and uh, the configuration here, it should be also drop. But now instead of saying that the destination is 8291, now it should be the source 8291. Why that? Let's go back to the picture to explain to you why. Because now we are doing it, the, we said, the LAN out. All right. So LAN out, that means it's going out from the LAN. So that means what? LAN out, we said that it's going out from the LAN, from here. That means it has already gone to the MicroTik router and the MicroTik router send it back. And when it's reached to the edge router, then there the uh, filter rule will be applied. And in this case, the source from the port, it is 8291 because it's coming from the MicroTik router. 8291, it's becoming now here a source port and not a destination. Because here there is no destination port. There is no port that I want uh, from my MicroTik router to do Winbox to the PC. That's not what I'm doing now. So that means this one should be here the source port. All right. So we go here and we put it here on the source. And then we have to not forget now to apply this on the interface, switch zero the way out. Okay, because it's getting out from this LAN. And this is not really also, I do not advise it because you're already wasting your traffic going to the router and then coming back to apply the filter rule. So it's not really the best to do. If we look to the statistics now, we have zero packets, zero byte. Let's uh, try now to do one box, open. You see it's not working and look it is blocking the packets and the bytes so it's working perfectly now a lot of people think that uh, the in means any traffic going to the router itself this direction and out means any traffic going from the router itself that means in coming to the router like if you are doing from your computer ping to the router that's in that's not correct in and out are nothing more than the traffic which are flowing and traversing the router but then you have to put the direction all right so you have to say that the way uh, it's going into the LAN or out to, from the LAN or into the WAN or out from the WAN all right so in doesn't mean the traffic going to the router actually it is local local means the traffic going to the router like you are doing pink to the router SSH to the router so that's what is local that's what is to the router and out doesn't mean also that you are pinging, for example, from the router to MicroTik router, from the edge router to the MicroTik. It doesn't mean that. Out means the traffic traversing to the router, but you put it the way out. So maybe LAN out or WAN out. All right. So just keep that in your mind. Point number three is done. And uh, with this point, I have showed you uh, another uh, lab, how you can uh, make the filter rules and you have understood now the uh, in direction and the out direction. And I have also showed you another lab about the local. So that's the only things uh, that you have on the MicroTik. So you can see here, when you go to the interface, you have in, out, local. So we already know about the in and out. And we also know about local from another uh, lab that I have showed you. So this makes uh, all the confusion that you have, because I know a lot of people working on edge router and they have a lot of confusion what is in what is out what is local in and out you all know it now and local is nothing more than traffic coming to the router so that means to the router itself like if you are pinging to the router or doing ssh to the router that's what is local so this is what i wanted to show you in uh, this uh, lecture i hope that uh, it was informative for you and i will see you in some other lectures